Hi guys, my name is Anne. I am Quantapart Living. Thank you so much for joining me. Wow, we are experiencing right now some very intense energies coming in. Uh, we have really been over the past few days, but certainly today, um, probably most people are going to be feeling this in one way or another. It really depends on you know where you're at on your particular journey. But I can tell you that uh, this influx is really, really intense. There are some huge upgrades that are occurring to our physical bodies, um, such that I actually had to go and lie down this afternoon in order for it to properly integrate. So yeah, that doesn't happen very often. And the other thing, which is almost commonplace now, but uh, sleep patterns are certainly very much disrupted. Um, I'm finding myself up until sometimes three or four in the morning just with so much energy running through me. Um, certainly, I'm a very you know, active person. I um, am outside um, quite a bit in nature and enjoying you know, that aspect of life and uh, deep breathing and, and walking my dog and staying away from media. And um, I mean, that's really a big part of it is the more that we uh, really practice being uh, within our own energy body of not absorbing others, that uh, that is allowing for more and more of this newer energy to come in it. It really, really is. So uh, yeah, I'm noticing in people that um, old patterning are breaking down some people that um, just in general, um, you're noticing that they're, 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 they're different. They know that something's up with them. There's a lot of people kind of questioning what is going on with them because they are changing and they unfortunately don't really know uh, what is happening yet in some cases. So yeah, you can see it, you can feel it. It's happening all, all around us. I mean, the good news is we are breaking down this old pattern and these old structures. There's a lot that has left. I mean, we've been working on this um, for quite a while, as you know. Um, there's a lot leaving us and I'm feeling a bit uh, of this, um, what I've been holding on to for, for so long is now kind of left. It's just very short term when it comes back to visit. And I think that's a big part of this is that um, it's allowing more and more of this, who. Whew, these light codes to kind of come in and um, really energize us into this new dimensional living, into uh, uh, embodying this, this energetic being. And it's fascinating. I can't say that I always know what's happening, but uh, I'll tell you, I, I know how I feel. And um, boy, it is intense. Now, uh, there has also been bouts of anger really coming up. We have some very strong uh, oppositions. We've got some some real play with some of these um, um, sort of very strongly passionate uh, energies. And I, I think the basis behind that is what, what I'm getting is um, there's a lot of energy around this feminine rising, around this whole patriarchal structure that we've had to uh, live with for so, so very long. And, you know, this whole idea that um, perhaps, you know, we have been a little bit too nice in our lives and it has taken us uh, quite some time to realize and to manage and to understand uh, our own energy, what is others that we've absorbed, and really this deep dive into sort of our own psyche, our own self, and this self-healing mission, and realizing there's so much more uh, to us than we ever even possibly imagined, how powerful and how magical we really, really are, and nature has so many of the answers where that is concerned. So we gotta keep, um, you know, really our heads in the right space here. Uh, I know this anger has popped up in, in me. Um, it's certainly been triggered uh, the past couple days and uh, I'm only human. I don't have all the answers here. I'm just trying to work through the best I can like you are. Um, 
And it is, you know, you have to really employ some coping mechanisms, get through to the next day. Nobody is perfect here. There is no uh, right or wrong way to do this. Um, it's really all about energy. It's what, you, you know, your belief systems have been that are now collapsing. And it's making sure, though, that we are developing sort of this new uh, belief system, this new neural network, and continuing to sort of push through that. So creating this new is um, still so important to consciously create and to realize that, uh, you know, so many things that we're seeing and experiencing just don't make common sense. I mean, even conspiracy theories aside, you know, as a mom, there are certain things that just don't really uh, resonate with me that we're kind of been living in. And the, it, it, it just, it's kind of like, why am I questioning? Well, you know, we certainly know that uh, having poisons in our food, like um, so much of our food is actually poisoned, does not make sense. Why is that even allowed? Or why is that even possible? Uh, why are pesticides being sprayed in, in our sky? And why are we want to kill, you know, biological life? I don't quite understand that. Um, certainly, um, you know, towers that are emitting frequencies that could harm our children that haven't been properly tested, that are allowed to be put in place anyway, does not make common sense to me. I don't know. Um, I feel like I should be made aware of these things and protected before they can go ahead and do. And these are really only a few just very simple examples. I mean, another one is, I mean, I grew up sunshine and fresh air, exercise, eating well, are all things we do to improve our health, you know. Um, eating a little dirt once in a while wasn't necessarily so bad because uh, it helps to build our immune system. Uh, but uh, the way it is rolling out right now, it, the way I, you know, I see this big change on this planet, I mean, we are definitely, unfortunately, divided here because there's so many people living in fear. And um, there's also another handful of us, many of us, who are kind of seeing through some of these truths that s some of them are really just common sense um, information that we are not being told about. Mainstream media isn't supporting us either. So yeah, you really have to be an independent, sovereign research kind of person these days to really do your own homework. I mean, we have the tools. We have to be careful as we move through this year. Um, you know, don't rely on social media. It really, so much of this is going to be your own intuitive knowledge, right? Um, because uh, so much manipulation is happening. There's so many is like grasping onto straws to keep us, to hold us down. But we are expanding beings. We are transforming. We are evolving. And this to me is really, really obvious. We are con in control. We are, we have our own power. So we can create our own lives. We can be ultimately uh, limitless. It's our belief systems that have been you know, indoctrinated with um, patterns of suppression and um, limitation. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's moving past what's that to what, what actually is possible. So uh, yeah, we're being supported. These energies are really supportive. Like somebody asked a question the other day, you know, I talk about these energies and how we're, you know, releasing trauma, how we got to work through it. And he asked, you know, are, you know, are there, is there good news here? And the answer is an absolute yes, of course there is. I have made, you know, personally, again, I refer to my personal story because I know it to be true. <laughs> um, but I have completely transformed my life this year. Now, in all of these strange um, and strange circumstances and dire times, I have, I'm working on tr continuing um, to transform my life. I, I'm not stopping because someone says you can't do that. Um, certainly, um, within reason, um, I am, you know, 
following certain um, guidelines that are intuitively very important to me. Um, but this has been a huge year of change and of opportunity because I chose to see it that way. So, so much of this is a choice. I mean, you can do and are powerful and you can do whatever really you put your mind to. So yes, massive um, changes, um, divinely guided, definitely um, powerful uh, energies that have been supporting this, this journey. I mean, even with lack of sleep, um, the energy's still there, right? You can still, um, you can still feel it, it's still supportive. So that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily have that much of an impact. So yeah, there's so much opportunity to keep creating folks, you know? So uh, it's a two-sided coin here. Yes, we have to integrate and we have to sort of deal with our regular lives, but at the same time, um, don't forget about creation mode, about, you know, being, um, just being and being uh, so grateful for how beautiful this planet is and how lucky, oh my gosh, how lucky we are to be alive and to have this time to uh, be able to help shift this consciousness um, together. So yeah, you know, there's always a positive perspective. I mean, I walk around um, so many times during the day going, thank you, thank you, thank you. I take the stairs and I say thank you because I don't want to forget how grateful I am for where um, I am now. And it's uh, been a very interesting journey, but um, I keep moving forward best I can, right? So that's what I have for you. Uh, keep integrating. Ooh, it's uh, it's uh, certainly very fun ride. Thanks, guys. We'll talk soon. Bye.